Have you ever wondered why the market moves the way it does? It's not just about price action, it's also about volume. Imagine being able to spot when large players are entering the markets and also being able to identify when a trend is losing steam. In this video, I'll introduce you to the volume analysis, one of the key parts of every successful trader's analysis. So stick around because you'll learn a lot in this video. Let's now look at volume and see how we can identify where the large traders are participating in the markets. For volume analysis, first of all, it's important to understand what volume analysis actually is and what it's trying to do. So volume represents the total number of shares or contracts or units traded during a given period. So for example, with volume analysis, we can find out how much volume was being traded in this entire range on Bitcoin, for example. Typically, it is measured showing a histogram on a price chart. And this is indicating the level of activity in the market. I'm gonna show you a simple tool on how to do that. For this, I'm using the fixed range volume profile indicator on TradingView. So we can now, after identifying a well-defined range, anchor this fixed range and see or analyze this entire volume inside this range. So now what you will see is three lines, but what do they actually mean? So the red line is the point of control. That is the most amount of volume being transacted within this range. So the most amount of volume was traded at around 97,200. So this is the vertical histogram box that is showing the high volume nodes within this range. Now these orange lines are the value area high and value area low. So that means within this range, 70% of this entire volume was traded within this box. Okay, the value area low is the lowest point, including the 70%. The point of control, the red line, is where the most amount of volume was transacted. And the value area high is the upper extreme, including 70% of this entire volume. So what we can do by using volume analysis is spot if a move to the upside is sustainable or not. So what we can see is that not many traders were participating on this break to the upside, where we've actually made the current all-time high on Bitcoin. Now, why is that? Because we can clearly see this is not including 70% of the volume being transacted in this range. So that means upon breaking this level or breaking into all-time highs, volume was not following the move and the majority of the volume still was traded down here. So there's one more tool we can use, with, we use which is the volume indicator. Let's now have a look at another example. So here, for example, we are once again trying to break out of the 70% range, so the value area high of our volume being transacted in this range. We can see prices moving to the upside, but what we can see here by simply looking at the volume bars is that volume is clearly dropping. So on this move to the upside, the volume was decreasing. And that is typically not referring to a strong break to the upside. What we wanna see for trend continuation is one, the market moving to the upside, but also volume following the move. This is, for example, what we have seen on this drop on Bitcoin. We've seen a move to the downside and the volume was fairly large up here. It was not increasing on the way down, but it was above average. So this white line, which you can see here, is the average volume. This is a very helpful indicator to spot irregularities. So here we can see there was a lot of selling going on in this price action of the, or in this section of the chart. So now let's cover why you should integrate volume analysis into your trading. And this is because with volume analysis, we can confirm trends. As I've shown you in this example, it's very easy to spot if there's a high probability for a trend to the upside to have follow through or not. And one thing I must say here is that this is only touching on the introduction to volume analysis. So we have extended courses on this entire volume analysis because that is a very, 
very complex topic, but this is the things that you should definitely understand when starting out your trading journey. Besides that, we can identify reversals. So a spike in volume can signal a potential reversal. This, for example, was happening up here. Bitcoin was moving to the upside, it was going into all-time highs, and then we finally had a spike in selling volume, indicating that this trend to the upside might come to an end. We can monitor the market sentiment. So volume provides insights into the emotions and psychology of market participants, such as fear and greed. For example, down here, we can see we've had a nice drop and we can see a massive increase in selling. That means if we pair that with more technical analysis, which we should always do. So we should pair volume analysis with classical technical analysis. That is what's giving you the secret recipe to success in trading. And here we can see it ended in a liquidity grab. And in terms of psychology, this shows that there was a lot of fear in the markets down here. Many people were selling down here thinking that Bitcoin is going to crash and all we did was move to the upside again. So this was just a very quick look on volume analysis using two very simple tools. That was the fixed range tool and the volume bar down here. Now let's have a look at avoiding common mistakes in volume analysis. So one thing we should definitely not do is ignore context. So don't focus solely on volume without considering the overall market context. For me, it's always context is the most important. With context against me, I'm not even looking at the volume confirmation to take a trade. It's always going to be context, then the technical levels, and then including the volume analysis. It is very common that people misinterpret low volume. So low volume doesn't always indicate weakness. Consider asset and market conditions. Also, what you don't want to do is, for example, compare the overall volume on Bitcoin with another altcoin, for example. So there's going to be more volume being traded on Bitcoin than on other altcoins. So it does or it is very helpful and actually essential that you learn the criteria of each and every coin you are trading because the volume on Bitcoin is completely different to our other altcoins we like to trade. And also we should not overemphasize volume spikes. Not all volume spikes are significant. Sometimes they result from large trades or unusual events. Sometimes we have economic releases that end in a very large spike in volume. But that is something that you will learn practicing over a long term and having a lot of exposure to the markets by a lot of screen time. So this comes with experience and I am sure you will get a feeling for when a volume spike is significant and when it's not too helpful for your trading. So I hope I was able to help you incorporate volume analysis into your everyday trading. This is such an important topic which I am very fascinated about and that's why in the next lesson I'm going to teach you or show you an introduction to order flow analysis. So stick around and see you in the next one.